This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. So in this video, we're going to learn how to turn things on and off. Uh, that's a lot of what the Arduino can do. It can turn things on and off. And in this video, we'll turn on an LED. Um, but motors, sensors, uh, anything that you might want to turn on or off, this is how you do it. We'll be working with the LED that is built into your Arduino because that doesn't require us to build any additional circuits. So turning up things on and off starts with our standard magic incantation, void setup, paren paren bracket bracket, void loop, paren paren bracket bracket. All right, so that never changes. And as before, our code goes inside of the brackets, does not go anywhere else. No code anywhere else. Now, the first thing I want to do in my setup is I want to tell the Arduino that we're going to use one of our pins as an output. All right. That allows us to turn that pin on and off. If we don't say that we want to use the pin as an output, nothing will happen. So this is important. So we're going to write pin mode, paren, paren, semicolon. Now, what's going on there? All right. So this is a little bit of that programming type stuff. There's this word right here, pin mode, and then there's these parens. Paren, uh, pin mode is the name of a function that the Arduino understands. And a function is, by and large, like a monster. And you've got a monster here with a monster eye, and it's got some monster teeth, monster legs, little, little skinny chicken legs on this monster. And the name of the function, right, functions are like monsters. They do all kinds of things without you knowing why or how. But it's kind of like um, the monster's wearing a name tag. Hello, my name is. And the monster's name is pin mode. So there are a whole bunch of monsters lurking in the Arduino. And one of them that you'll become familiar with is pin mode. So we write the name of the function. And then every function needs a set of parentheses after it. Because that's where we give it parameters. That's where we give it stuff to work with. All right? and that is basically... Uh, that, that's basically feeding the monster, okay? So, there we go, little, little skinny chicken legs. Um, if we want to set the mode of a pin to output, then we're going to need to tell it, for example, which pin are we working with? So we need to give it some inputs. All right, so those inputs go there, and the semicolon um, belongs at the end of every statement that we write. And we'll see what happens if we forget that in just a moment. So I'm going to get back to my clicker, cursor, pointer thing. I'm going to put it inside of my parentheses and uh, move my cursor poker thing. Um, so I'm going to say that I want the pin, the mode of pin 13 transformed into an output. So I want it to be ready for doing output. I could pick a different pin. I could pick pin 12. Um, but then there'd be no LED there, so that'd be bad. I push the check mark. That tells me uh, whether there's any errors. And here I deleted the semicolon. And it says, whoa, I was expecting a semicolon. We put it back. Look, it's still good. All right, so forgetting the semicolon is something you're going to do a lot. So you might as well, you might want to replay that bit five or ten times. So that way you can see what happens when you forget the semicolon. Now we need to tell the Arduino to actually turn on. All right. Well, we're going to use another function called digital write. So we now have seen two functions. One of them is called pin mode, and this one is called digital write. And that's the name of the function. And uh, how do I know that? Well, there's some documentation that I'll point you to. And then this is where the parameters go. So it's the name of the function, followed by the parentheses, followed by a semicolon. 
And the things that go inside the parentheses are called parameters. So just to remind you, we've got the monster here with the skinny little chicken legs. All right. So we've seen pin mode, we've seen digital write. And digital write needs two parameters. It needs to know which pin we want to turn on and should we turn it to a high voltage setting or a low voltage setting? On the Arduino, of course, so here we see we want to turn on pin 13 and make it an output. But on the Arduino, we can high voltage, of course, means 5 volts. And low voltage means 0 volts. So at this point, you should be able to click the check mark. Everything checks out. You can click the arrow. It'll upload. And your program should start running, and it should turn on the LED on your Arduino. And that's it. That's our first step towards learning how to turn things on and off.